Hi everyone, it's Seaput Magur again here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the complete techniques of slicing and trimming a video clip in OpenShot. Here I'm gonna trim this 9 second video clip so that it begins just a moment before the milk starts flowing out of the mug and ends right when the milk stops flowing out. I'm also gonna shorten this clip by removing 1 second of its middle part so that we have a final clip of 6 seconds that looks like this. Alright, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna add this video clip to the OpenShot's project files by dragging the file from File Explorer to OpenShot. But before dragging the file, make sure you have selected the Project Files tab on OpenShot's resource pane. After that, I'm going to change the project profile's frame rate to 30 frames per second to match the original clip's frame rate. And then add the clip to the timeline. The first important step of slicing and trimming a clip is zooming in the timeline so that it will be easier to position the playhead at the desired time and frame where the clip is to be sliced or trimmed. So here I'm going to shorten the zoom slider until the timeline ruler shows 1 second per scale. And then, to trim off the beginning of this video clip, position the playhead at the desired time and frame by dragging it along the timeline ruler. In order to put the playhead precisely at a particular frame, press the right or left arrow key on the keyboard to move the playhead one frame at a time. Like this. As we can see here, the frame number shown on the left of the timeline ruler changes as we press the arrow key. In this example, I'm going to trim this clip at the 10th frame of the first second. Once you put the playhead at the right position, right-click the clip, and then select Slice, and then click Keep Right Side. And now, if we click the play button on the preview, we can see that the clip begins just a moment before the milk starts flowing out. And then, if we change our mind and want the trimmed clip to begin a few frames earlier after we do trimming, instead of undoing the trimming, we can do one of the following two methods. We can either click and drag the left edge of the trim clip to the left, like this. While this method is easy, it's hard to do precise trimming this way. Or, we can change the start time of the trimmed clip on the clip properties pane. The start time is a point in time in the original clip in seconds, where the trimmed clip begins. In this example, the trimmed clip begins at 0.33 second of the original clip. Now, here is the key thing. Since the clip's frame rate is 30 frames per second, a single frame will last for about 33 milliseconds, or there will be 3 frames per 0.1 second. So if for example we want the trimmed clip to begin 3 frames earlier, then we should reduce the start time by 0.1 second. And now, if we play the trimmed clip, we will see that it begins a little earlier. Next, to trim out the end of this clip, we basically do the same steps. Position the playhead at the desired trim point by dragging it along the timeline ruler. And then press the right or left arrow key on the keyboard to refine the playhead position. After that, right click the clip. And then select Slice. And then click Keep Left Side. Lastly, to remove the middle part of this clip and make it shorter, position the playhead at the beginning of the unwanted part. In this example, I'm going to remove the fourth second of the clip altogether. So I put the playhead at the first frame of the fourth second. And then right-click the clip. Then select Slice. After that click keep both sides. If we see a little gap between the two clips, snap the second clip onto the first one first. And then, Position the playhead at the first frame of the fifth second. After that, right click the clip. Then select Slice. And then click Keep Right Side. And finally, drag the right clip to the left and snap it onto the left clip. And now, if we play the resulting clip, we will have a shorter and more focused clip, which later can be combined with other clips to make a longer one, like an ad or product preview. Alright, so that's how we can slice and trim a video clip in OpenShot. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and feel free to leave a comment or question down below.